Well, thank you for joining us to take a look at Acumatica ERP and specifically how it functions for professional service organizations. My name is Rick Stefanone. I'm a pre-sales engineer for Software Solutions Group. We have a lot to cover in 20 minutes, so I'm going to kind of get right to it. Um, a software solutions group has been um, designing and installing uh, ERP and CRM systems for over 20 years. We're a Microsoft Gold partner. We are an Acumatica Silver partner, which is what we're going to be talking about today. We have offices in both Buffalo and Rochester, and we have clients, a lot of whom you would recognize and many whom, of whom you, you may not. But the purpose of this uh, free webinar is, is pretty simple. I want you to know what's available, give you just a high level look at how Acumatica ERP functions, and then if you find this intriguing, we can schedule a phone call or an on-site visit and we can discuss the details of your organization, what you're looking to accomplish, and then we can do more of a full demonstration geared towards that. So I'm going to give you my contact info again at the end. Um, but before I, get, I jump into showing you the software, I do want to address, you know, the question of, you know, who is Acumatica? Because if you're any, anything like us a couple of years ago, you may not have heard the name. So Acumatica um, is the fastest growing cloud ERP company in the world. They're headquartered in Seattle, right between Microsoft and, and, and Amazon. Uh, they were founded by ERP veterans, and they are dominating the space, just winning award after award after award um, for the, the product. And there's really a couple of reasons why we chose them. So in their core product suite, they have the financial management, they have project accounting, they have distribution and, and, and customer management as well. And then there's, of course, all types of extensions and different things for specific niche needs. Um, but here's what we found out. Most companies uh, realize that QuickBooks is either limited in features and most service companies we work with are using multiple systems, maybe one for CRM, one for projects, one for time and billing, one for quoting, maybe one for accounting. Um, and, you know, in, in addition to using many systems, there's generally lots of uh, miscellaneous spreadsheets that float around an office as well. And I guess most folks realize that running four, five, six, seven different programs that do not talk to each other just isn't efficient. And then others that have an ERP system, maybe, um, you know, they just realize it's just plain old outdated. So Acumatica allows companies to consolidate and eliminate multiple products into one simple system. But why are customers choosing them and why did we partner with them? There's three huge reasons. The first is that you can access the system from any anywhere on any device. It's a true cloud ERP and it, it really re takes the restrictions off of operating systems, devices. So your employees can work from anywhere using whatever device that they'd like to. The second is they're disrupting the typical license structure. Almost every you know, ERP provider has a per user, per install, you know, fee and Acumatic is different. They, you simply purchase a model, a module, and you can assign it to unlimited amounts of users, which is pretty neat. And then the third reason is probably one of the most important is the platform. Acumatic is so new and so fresh and the technology it, it, it was built on allows for flexible deployments. So Though it was born in the cloud, you can deploy it on-prem if you want. You can have it 100% in the cloud or you can have it in a private cloud, kind of a hybrid. But the functionality that you get with the platform just is far superior to almost everything else that we see. So for a project accounting aspect, um, Acumatic is a single platform for um, you know, your time and expense, your project accounting, your customer management, billing, and it eliminates lots of duplicate data entry. So let's get into Acumatica. I'm going to open this browser and, and you'll notice that um, I simply have a, a login screen. Every user has, it, you know, his or her own ID and I'm going to log in and it, as an administrator and you'll see that I have basically access to everything. So that's not the case with most employees. They will have very restricted use to only what's pertinent to them. So let's just give you a quick feel of navigation around Acumatica. In this blue bar up top is where our suites are. And within each suite, once I click on a suite, the, the row underneath changes, and those are the modules within the suite. So if I click on the organization, I have my communications, I have my customer management, where I can, you know, have I have full marketing automation, sale um, contract management, I have case management, I track my opportunities from, you know, beginning to end in the pipelines, I have the project accounting module and this is where I can get complete views of my projects related costs I track my materials my labor services inventory items it handles advanced billing 
um, with with rules that you can recognize revenue different ways. Um, it has WIP support, your contracts, it links time sheets and, and everything to your projects. Um, the time and expenses obviously are what it is. I can you know manage my reimbursements and expenses. And then I have shared dashboards. Um, in my finance, this is going to have everything you would, you'd expect from an accounting system. My GL, my payables, my receivables, currency, deferred revenue, taxes. Um, and then um, in my distribution model, I, it handles inventory if you need it, uh, sales orders and quotes, um, POs, requisitions. And then the system is where, you know, the platform is used to, you know, Acumatic was designed knowing that there, there are lots of different platforms. So you can configure automation engines within the system. Um, where you can have Acumatic automatically, you know, grab data and pull stuff in without writing code. And you can also um, integrate with all types of other, you know, providers through APIs, uh, import export scenarios, etc. So let me just walk you through, if I just come into, for instance, like a sales order, I want to walk you through just the user interface because it, Acumatic is consistent throughout all the modules. Um, so it's very intuitive once you understand basically one screen, you can walk into almost any part of Acumatic and, and know how to get around. So I'm in a sales order and you'll notice that um, I've, I'm in the distribution suite. I picked the sales order module and um, now I have these four options. So the first is the work area. And this is these are going to be the common things that you, you do every day. I'm going to enter a sales order, a shipment, or an invoice. Uh, the process area is where you, you know things that happen in the background or once a day or once a week, like you know creating you know your your invoices or customer statements, etc. The reporting is the third tab, and every module has its own set of out of the box reports, and then you can add um, anything that you'd like as well. And then there's a configuration. And again, I'm an admin, so I see this, but configuration is where you can set up the preferences and customize each and every module if you'd like. So let's just talk about some of the basic features that, that I guess are, um, um, uh, you know, apply to every screen within Acumatica. So I'm in a sales order, you know, as I fill in f uh, fields, uh, I can pull down, I can hit this little magnifying glass and, and, you know, grab the list of customers, which it's asking me for, or I can just start typing and it's going to, you know, uh, filter out all of my customers very easily. Um, I can attach notes to the sales order. I can see attach activities, whether it's a, um, you know, a email, an event, a phone call, whatever. I can attach files to this particular sales order. So for instance, um, I'm going to minimize this here. So let's say there's this PO over here and I want to attach it. I just simply drag it over and you'll notice now file says one and I now have a copy of this uh, Excel spreadsheet permanently attached to the sales order. Uh, I can create notifications and I can even customize the form. With the customizing the form, you'll notice this little screen right here, I didn't have this before. It didn't come out of the box, but I wanted a field that said, do not ship this before and, you know, with a calendar. Now I created this in about three minutes, no coding, no anything, literally just through the customization uh, wizard walks you through what you want to do. Very, very easy. And I'll show you that in a few minutes as well. So that's the high level info. And from here, you know, I have actions to go ahead and create a shipment or email this particular sales order. Um, you know, I can do all types of things. I can um, add line item details. And this is just uh, something that's, that's neat you can do. You notice I can drag this inventory item column over. I can move pretty much anything I want uh, to the way that I like to see it, which is very, very interesting. And it restricts a lot of systems out there. So I can also create templates and I can save uh, maybe a certain amount of you know inventory items as a template. And we'll get into the project side in a second, but templates are very, very nice uh, for basically making similar situations much easier by pre-filling out multiple um, sets of information. So let's talk about the projects for a second. I'm going to come into my organization. I'm going to come over to my projects. And just to make it, I guess, a little bit simpler, um, I'm going to just share this. I'm just going to walk you through kind of the components of a project. Um, within each project, you'll have the ability to set up tasks, multiple tasks, how, however many that you would need. And then each task will have its own budget for your labor, material, you know, subcontractors, anything. It's going to have its own set of activities. 
so emails and I will mention that um, Acumatica and Outlook has an integration so any you know email that you need to attach you can simply click a button and, and it's you know attached to that task uh, but the task will also have its own billing rules and uh, recurring items then those will obviously all roll up into the project the project itself will have its own um, it's gonna have its own budget um, billing rules it, it's gonna have its employees assigned or equipment assigned and then there's also a, a variable for anything that's um, that you need to customize what we call attributes so if I come into projects here um, you'll notice I can go ahead and add a new one or I can look up a project for the sake of this quick overview I'm going to just open up one of the projects and it's this TMR01 is going to be the project so in this project you could see some of the the, um, the general info right here I can see the start and end date I can see my project manager obviously you want one assigned if, if you need one you just click it here I can see the billing settings and then in the tasks I can go ahead and, and see all my tasks I can view um, details by just simply clicking this I can see a real nice balance high-level view by clicking my balances tab I can see all my employees any equipment I can get a quick look at all the activity going on with this project and then I can even see those attributes and Acumatica does allow you very extensive um, allocation and billing rules that you can you know you can mark up things on a whole on a system whole or by a task or by a project specifically um, but it, you can also define some rules for how you um, you know how you're going to recognize revenue whether it's based on the percentage of completion or it's going to be on the completed tasks method all of those will be you know you, you can select them and they'll be automatically reflected in your in your GL so and then I can come to my invoices and I can see any you know any invoices attached to this uh, project as well so um, you'll notice that when I start to walk through here that that the project piece is integrated into multiple other it's visible in many other modules in Acumatica so you'll see it in you know the sales orders purchase orders employee portal when they're doing time it's in time sheets and all of that so that's what I we're gonna do now I'm gonna go ahead and, and enter um, a time card and just show you how easy it is to apply it towards um, a project so I'm an employee I'm gonna go ahead and add a new um, uh, some hours here I'm gonna use my regular hours and you'll notice here's my project and task so here I'm gonna pick my project TMR01 and then I'm gonna um, assign these hours to this uh, first task the 101 so here I'm gonna go ahead and put five hours five hours and you know two hours on Wednesday now obviously I can add multiple uh, rows and line items I can change them you know I can assign different tasks different time in, in multiple projects all at once just for this quick overview I'm just gonna leave it simple as, as taking these 12 hours and I'm gonna go ahead and normalize this card so now that I've done that I'm gonna save this and it's 12 hours I'm gonna submit it now this is gonna go into um, obviously an approval process but let me go back to the project that I assigned this to if I come to the balances I just want you to see here so this labor 56.95 is the amount that we have before this uh, time card gets approved so now I could go ahead and approve the time card from another way but I'm going to just show you the, the mobile ability of Acumatica one of the things one of the features they wanted to nail was mobility and, and and they certainly did so I'm on my mobile device I have an Acumatica app I could access it via browser but via the application makes navigating around a little bit um, easier so here's the application you'll notice I can you know go into approvals or tasks time cards sales orders all right from my mobile device so for this I'm going to come to my approvals I'm going to click my um, my work groups approvals here and I'm going to see this uh, time card that was just submitted so I can come in if I want to see the details here I'm going to say okay there's the five hours towards this project on Monday the five hours on Tuesday and the two hours uh, on on Wednesday and all the rest is again what we normalized so now I'm going to just go back and I can go ahead and approve this 
and I can release it right from here. So I don't have to wait until I get into my um, uh, my my ERP system. I can do it right from my phone, which is just very, very helpful. So now that this has been um, approved, I'm going to go ahead and I would have to run my uh, allocations. And I'm going to click this project and assume that these are all allocated. And then I'm going to go ahead and run my project billing for TMR01. And if I come back to my projects, now this was 56.95, and you'll no, now notice that my labor is has been updated. So the 12 hours has been increased. I'm now at 65.03. So it's all real time. I, you know, I did part of it via my mobile phone, um, and it's just really, really uh, simple. Now there are many advanced features and specific things that you can get into, and that could would be saved for you know a, a specific uh, discussion about your company. But let me show you a couple of the other really neat things about Acumatica. Now you don't have to remember where everything is based upon the module because Acumatica gives you a couple of tools. For instance, there are um, some favorites where I can put some favorite. You know, if I want to see maybe a project summary. Um, you know, and, and I and I want to use this a lot. I can just add this to my favorites by clicking this gold star here. Um, if I want to see a PL, maybe a project PL um, by a month, I can just simply click that, and I can you know these are all you know drill downable. Um, I can also use this little. Uh, it's called a universal search, which makes it very easy to find different things within um, within the system. So if I search Malone in everything, you'll notice I get a list. There's a contact that I had created for Sam Malone, and then there's a case that has Sam Malone attached to it. But really easily, whether it's a GL entry number or a you know description of a case or, or whatever, you can access it here. And then there are dashboards. And when we first logged in, this is the screen that we saw because my administrator, my, my home page is this page right here. And you'll notice I have different um, graphs. I have access to one clicks to different uh, financial reports. I can create all of these very, very easily. In these colored boxes are little KPI indicators and notifications, and the colors will change based upon some defaults that you make. So, for instance, if I come to my, you know, shipping and inventory, I have a, a little KPI indicator for late shipments. But let me just show you how easy it is. I click Design, and I can edit this particular um, widget. And this is where I'm going to set my my alarm levels, and I can have it change to different colors based upon the uh, the numbers. So, in the CRM side, you'll notice that Acumatica can handle full you know business accounts, contacts, everything. And uh, from a support side, if I click on a support dashboard, you'll notice I can see open cases, I can see cases by owner, and then I even created a couple simple. Um, uh, KPI widgets here, one for total open cases, and then anything unassigned right here. Um, so one of the things that's unique about Acumatica is they also, they allow your support cases to be attached to projects. So if you're in a support case, any time that you have um, on that uh um, that case is cleverly integrated with the other parts of so um, if, time against a case for example will automatically be added to your weekly timesheet so if you you know you know how much of a struggle it is sometimes to get people to fill out their timesheets it's just a great feature to have that integrated it but aside from that you can also in your support cases you can have any closed case there's an integration with survey monkey so you can create a simple you know, uh, survey, have it automatically sent out, and then results can be brought back in um, into uh, Acumatica. I open up this one little report from the dashboard, and then I can do lots of different things. I can, you know, refine, um, I can refine my results, and I can just maybe I want to see only thing that's only cases that are open. Um, I can rearrange my columns. You can add things. It, Acumatica is very, very, um, uh, customizable and very simple. La I'll show you one other little sim uh, customization that I did. So if I come into my GL under my journal transactions, one of the things I just created in about three minutes was this currency converter. I wanted I used some web page that you know for for currency different um, conversions, and I simply added a button and I added the URL to change it. And now I can go ahead and use this um, you know currency converter and 
uh, right within ER, my, my ERP without having to you know, even open the browser. But again, it took me about three minutes to, to add the button, make how big you know I wanted that button to be, and put it on here. You can make any screen look any which way you want and have fields for whatever that's important to your you know specific business. So let me finish up here with um, reporting. So Acumatica gives you lots of different types of reports, but there's a neat integration with Power BI. Most folks I talk to are not familiar with Power BI, but it's a tool that uh, has integrations with Acumatica. If I come down, I'm in Power BI. When I click Get Data, I can sync up services, and you'll notice, you know, I have a, an ability to sync up services with Acumatica. I can sync up with maybe um, my uh, Google Analytics or MailChimp, or there's lots of different services you can hook up along with other data databases. But the point is, once you set these up, um, you now have all this data live within uh, Power BI, and you can create little dashboards that you'd like with different things. But the neat thing is you can ask questions about your data. So for instance, if I wanted to see you know, all my accounts, th this is from my Acumatica ERP, but the data is now synced up with, um, you know, uh, extended profit over $2,000 you'll notice the screen just continually starts to change. I can add another zero to make that $20,000 in this list changes. If I want to see this as maybe a funnel, I simply hit funnel and it changes. If I say, oh, you know what? Maybe I want to see this as a pie chart. I can click it and now I get this pie chart. Um, another neat little thing is, let's say I want to look at my 2015 extended profit and you'll notice it starts to immediately give me information right here and I want to see it by state in a matter of seconds it, it gives me these columns but I want to see this as a map so I just simply type in map and look at this it, it gives me these bubbles it hovers over okay here's my profit in California New York and I can go wow we need to spend some marketing dollars here in the Midwest or you know down in North Carolina or whatever but Power BI is just a really neat analytics tool that syncs up kind of seamlessly into um, Acumatica. So that is the brief overview. Um, it's there's clearly not um, uh, there, there's way more that, than than what you can fill out in 20 minutes. But hopefully that gives you an idea of some of the neat uh, features and functionality of Acumatica, how it works, some of the different things you can do, and then um, if you want to you know schedule a free consultation or you know an in-depth depth uh, demonstration or a trial simply reach out to me all my information is right here I'll leave it up here for a second but we'd love to um, you know learn more about your business what you're using and see how we can help consolidate some of those you know those those uh, processes and, and, and automate them and uh, make things more efficient for you so thanks for taking the time we'll talk to you soon